My name is Kevin. I'm the owner of Austin EV Only. If you're new to the channel, we do repairs on all models of Tesla and the Chevy Volt, Fiat 500 electric, and the list is growing every day. If you're new here, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. It would mean a lot to us and help others find our channel. Let's say your frunk is locked and you need the manual release. Now this is a 2014 Model S. 85. Not the D, just a two wheel drive. Uh, and right now my 12 volt is disconnected. So I'm a man with a lot of confidence that I'm gonna be able to get this back open. So here we go. Let's close it up. All right, that sucker's locked and we ain't getting in. So kind of there's two, there's two problems, there's two issues, there's two ways to get in. One, we can apply 12 volts via like a jumper cable, get the car to open the doors, and then, you know, assume the screen will come on, and we just press the button on the screen that says unlock. So let's say we do that, okay? We get the doors open, but let's say for whatever reason, the screen's not coming on, nothing's happening. So there's a secret release latch on this one. Normally they're in the front, but this one's inside the car. That seems problematic, man. Like, what if you can't get in the car? Well, I guess you're out of luck. So here it is right here. So this is on the passenger side in the US model. Looks exactly like, you know, a, uh, a, uh, a hood release. So we're gonna pull on this hood release first. Great, you heard that click. Then we're gonna come over here to the bubble and assuming we haven't already done this, we need to peel this sucker off. Maybe we need to get some pry tools in here. Peel it off. Let's see if I can do it with my fingers and one hand. There, this one's come off a couple times already. So you'll notice that this uh, this piece has come up a little bit, So, but usually there's a cover here, so we wouldn't be able to reach it or see it. Uh, so normally, this would all be covered up by the uh, by the cover here. So that wouldn't work for us normally. So we gotta get this sucker off. So we get our pry tools and we pry off this bubble. Okay, so we got our bubble off, right? And as I said before, if at all possible, we could skip all this, hook up positive to positive. Negative goes right here to this, uh, this just peg, right? It's just a peg, it's just a screw head. And that's it, that's the post that you're gonna connect the negative to. And uh, hopefully that gets you in the car and you can just press the button. But if that doesn't work, so we're gonna come in here and we gotta pull this sucker to the side. So let's see if we can't do it by pulling this down right here. So here's the top side of the latch, which is exactly why I left this off. And I'm pulling the latch to the side. And there it goes. And we're back in our frunk. No power. There you go. Well, that's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button, and more importantly, please subscribe. That's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Austin EV only.